Hey Otakus, welcome back to another brand new discussion video. And in today's video we'll be talking about season 27. Yep, mark your calendar guys, it comes on the June 14th, which you already see throughout this video. So, our first uh, main heroine is, well, if you can't already guess, um, Hotaru. And our second heroine will be Enju. So, what we have here in this picture is, strangely, um, Hotaru is not wearing her usual, you know, school or tomorrow's to, uh, uniform. And instead she is wearing the Misakagi's uh, school uniform. So what what this can mean? One, in my theory, um, she may be undercover. Now I know that sounds like a bit of a stretch, like why would she be undercover? Or maybe my second theory maybe is that her clothes got drenched in, in like in the story. Her clothes and maybe she's just like, you know, using that as a replacement for her other clothes. Oh, I don't know. So I am really curious on how Hotaru is gonna fit into the main plot of season 27. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about season 27 because honestly, um, the RPG is not really doing it for me at this moment. Now, you might not be why, I'll have another video on that sooner or later like probably tomorrow because um there, I, there's a lot of editing that i need to do with that video and i really don't want any errors occurring when in the video so i just thought i had you know just release this video about you now who i'm gonna choose first uh, to do the ending of course i will have a voting poll like i always do in my discussion videos so I can have, so you guys can decide on which, uh, you know, fit your favorite waifu will get be chosen as a starter for the upcoming season 27. Now, just because uh, whoever female character wins, that doesn't mean I won't do the other endings. I would always do uh, the other Daryl's endings, and so it could be uh, evenly fair. So. So yeah, that's all I really gotta say about this. Will this be the last season for, for MG? I highly doubt it, but this is, I don't see Solomon going anywhere. It turns like more plot, like if they defeat the Yardgrassu, what is there there in store for, our, for the main MC and the other girls? Cause I mean like, unless they come up with a new villain and you know a new organization evil or so or what if so but that's just in my theory i i highly doubt they'll end it just in season 27 considering how popular the game is and i've seen them continuing this like for a really long time so there have there have there isn't have to be any worries in that regard so um about um uh, season one, yeah, about the RPG. I'm having really a lot of difficulty now. I won't go into that much because I'll be explaining it all in my video. Because, um, like I said, this is about uh, AMG and not the RPG. So I just want to talk about only about the AMG and the new season. So, so guys, uh, what do you think? Should I? focus on Hotaru or should I focus on Enju? Now, there's the one thing that I'm just guessing that I think that Enju is going to be more part of the plot than Hotaru is. Now, why do I think that? Because remember in season 21 where Lily and Enju were both the main heroines for that story and it was all about more about um, Lily uh, confronting uh, Ellie, which is her sister, and basically they focus more on Anju, and that really like got me mad because I don't like how when they're just promoting a character, and they don't just get to that character. 
Now I know Anju was kind of part of the story because of her secret organization that she was working for in the past, but um, that doesn't still change the fact that you should not be focusing on the secondary character when it's all about the first uh, character. Like Lily, because it's supposed to be more about her and her fight with her sister. So for me, it kind of just ruined the pace of the story. For example, Rika. Rika was the main protagonist in season 19, even though um, Tege was involved in the main storyline. Now, like I know they've been doing that recently, like they've been focusing on first area characters, like with uh, Nano, so hope they continue that down later down the line. So that's always, take care Otakus.